As sales professionals and business owners, don't we hate it when we're working with a client and they blow up at us for no reason at all? George is a builder and he's got a great question. Let's have him ask it. Hi Matt, how are you? I uh, love your page. My name is George, I'm a builder. Um, I just wanna ask your opinion if you may help. Uh, on almost every job project, there is, there is gonna be extras, there is gonna be variations to a contract whether it's due to unforeseen circumstances or a request by the, by the client themselves. Um, I just want to see how you would handle the situation in my position after sending this variation. If the client rings you up swearing, screaming, being angry, being rude, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks. George, I totally understand where you're coming from. We all experience this. Let me walk you through a few things that are gonna help you avoid this from happening and when it does happen, when it is unavoidable, how you can defuse and de-escalate the situation very quickly. The first thing that you need to understand, George, number one, you have to bring this up that this is a potential for happening and it sounds like you're doing this but before you start any project job or partnership you have to let that other side know hey there is a possibility that the scope is going to change based on information that we don't have in front of us right now so I need to make sure that you're okay with that understanding that the scope may change and that may change the price so let them know ahead of time now it sounds like you're doing that already if you're not that's going to solve Solve most of your problems but there's a way a particular way in which you can let them know ahead of time because you got to admit even when you let a customer a client or a prospect know ahead of time they oftentimes forget right and when that new bill comes in when that new estimate when that supplement comes in they completely blow up at you it's interesting what they remember so how do we get them to remember that we told them this could happen. The best way to get somebody to make sure that somebody remembers something that you're telling them is to get them to visualize it, to picture it in your head. So the easiest way to get them to visualize and picture in their head that this can happen is for you to give them an analogy. It's amazing. Customers have a much higher propensity to visualize the thing and remember the thing we need them to remember if we actually phrase it in terms of something else that's easy for them to visualize. So in your case, George, a great way for you to rephrase this is, hey, you know how when you bring your car to the mechanic and say, just fix it, how much is it to fix it? It's very difficult for the mechanic to give you an accurate estimate of what that repair is gonna cost until they get under the hood and start working on your vehicle. And oftentimes when they work on your vehicle, they're gonna find parts that are broken, things that they weren't able to see in the beginning. Make sense? Everybody's had that experience. Yeah, yeah, it makes perfect sense. As we get started on this construction project, along those same lines, there's gonna be things that as we get under the hood, as we start ripping walls out, as we start creating things, or you might actually even want us to do additional things to the job. When we hit those points in the job, if we hit those points, I'm gonna to come to you and I'm gonna let you know what the cost is to repair that unforeseen damage or what the cost is to add those additional ads that you wanna add. Fair enough? Give it to them in that way, and they're gonna be a lot more likely for, you to, for them to remember the conversation that you had. Now, let's say you bring it up. Let's say you use an analogy, like the car repair analogy, and they still argue with you. George, I want you to do this. I want you to remain calm. I want you to remain cool. I want you to remain collected. Oftentimes, when people yell and get angry and complain, it's just that, it's a complaint. It doesn't mean that they're not gonna pay for the supplement. It doesn't mean that they're not gonna have you do the additional work. But if you get into an argument with them, if you raise your voice, even a little bit, well, they're raising their voice, that's gonna set you up for an argument that could derail the whole project. I hope this helps. Let me know, George. By the way, my name's Matt Easton. If we haven't met before, great to meet you. Consider following me for more tips just like this on how you can be successful in business and life.